Dear viewers, this video is part 3 in the three-part series on cancer prevention in the Medicine for Anyone YouTube channel. Parasitic infection. In parts of Africa and Asia, parasitic infection is a major cause of cancer. Infection with schistosoma hematobium which excretes its eggs through the bladder wall causes a high incidence of bladder cancer in Egypt and East Africa. Infection with Schistosoma japonicum which excretes its eggs through the wall of the large bowel is responsible for a high incidence of intestinal cancer in parts of China. Liver flukes that is Clonarchis sinensis and Opistorsis viverni are similarly responsible for the high incidence of cholangiocarcinoma of the bile ducts in parts of Southeast Asia. The parasites may not cause cancer death directly, but chronic infection may start a chain of events that leads to cancer in other ways, such as chronic bacterial infection and the local formation of nitrites and nitrosamines. So, dear listeners, by the way, this educational video is made possible by Prescribon, the makers of e-prescription software for digital prescriptions available freely for doctors on the website www.prescribon.com. Doctors who are interested in this e-prescription can freely avail of its vast collection of more than 100,000 e-prescriptions. Immunosuppression Patients with persistent immunosuppression, either therapeutic, that is notably immunosuppressive drug treatment for organ transplantation or as a consequence of infection, example HIV or genetic, example in ataxia telangiectasia and biscott aldrich syndrome, have greatly raised risks of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and often of other viral infection related cancers including Kaposi's sarcoma. Although the pattern of malignancy and scale of risk varies according to the type of immunosuppression. Kaposi's sarcoma, for instance, predominates after HIV. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is the most common consequence of genetic immunodeficiency and of transplantation. Ingestion of preformed carcinogens one is aflatoxin, a metabolic product of aspergillus flavus fungus, which contaminates stored or oily foods such as grains and peanuts in many countries and is a major cause of liver cancer in the tropics among those individuals who are also chronic carriers of the hepatitis B or less commonly hepatitis C virus. Likewise, the salted fish eaten extensively in South China probably acts synergistically with the Epstein-Barr virus to cause nasopharyngeal cancer. The polycyclic hydrocarbons and other mutagens that are produced in food by grilling or smoking have often been suspected of playing a role and there is considerable evidence that processed meat consumption may increase colorectal cancer risk. Overnutrition it is now clear, however, that what is considered normal nutrition, that is simply stated as overeating, high calorie, fatty and animal foods in developed countries, increases the risk of breast cancer by bringing forward menarche and increasing body size. With greater consumption of society obesity, that is a body mass index more than 25 kg per meter square, has been estimated to be responsible for 5% of all incident cancers in Europe and 10% of all cancer deaths in non-smokers in the United States. Most notably, cancer of the breast in women after the menopause and cancers of the endometrium, large bowel, kidney and gallbladder, esophageal adenocarcinoma and perhaps cancers of the prostate and thyroid. See the series on lipid disorders, overweight, food balance and exercise 
in the Medicine for Anyone YouTube channel. The increases in the two female cancers in postmenopausal women are probably attributable to the formation of estrogen from androstenedione in adipose tissue. Precocious puberty, excessive fats and increased consumption of all types of non-vegetarian food bring early menarche. Early menses, onset of periods, is an international tragedy. Should girls be sexually mature at 12 years or even less? There is enough evidence of a relationship between early menarche and increased rate of breast cancer. It is a fact that girls who menstruate for the first time at an younger age than 13 have four times the rate of breast cancer as those who start the periods after they are 17 years. Reference Hirayama T, the epidemiology of cancer with special reference to the role of diet. Preventive medicine 1978, 7-73-75. Note, mental health of young women is also negatively influenced by precocious sexuality. Girls between the ages of 9 and 15 are not ready to cope with the physiological and anatomical changes that make them capable of reproductive activity. Excessive fats cause late menopause, which is associated with an increased breast cancer rate. Meat and fat. Carnivorous animals such as foxes, leopards and wolves are more susceptible to cancer than herbivorous animals like antelopes or sheep. There is a close correlation between the consumption of fat and to a lesser extent the consumption of meat and the incidence of several types of cancer. A high consumption of fat and of red meat is associated with a high risk of colorectal cancer. Physical inactivity. Physical inactivity contributes to the risk of cancer indirectly by increasing the risk of obesity but it may also contribute directly. Associations with colon, breast and endometrial cancers have fairly consistently been reported and an association with prostate cancer has been found in most studies. Physical fitness acts primarily as a prophylactic against the ravages of the western diet. Therefore, it is wise to include regular exercise in any program of cancer prevention. See exercise two-part series in Medicine for Anyone YouTube channel. Diet modification. Diets high in fat are associated with increased risk for cancers of the breast, colon, prostate and endometrium. Meat eaters have significantly higher levels of estrogen and other sex hormones than vegetarians. These cancers have their highest incidence and mortalities in Western cultures where fat composes an average of one-third of the total calories consumed. Cut out the non-vegetarian foods as much as possible. Vegetarians have twice the natural killer cell activity of non-vegetarians. Consumption of beef, chicken, pork and other animal products correlate very closely to the rate of colon cancer. Reducing dietary fat, especially non-vegetarian foods, lowers the rate of cancers of breast and other organs. High fat diets produce excessive sex hormones which produce lar both large bodies and cancer. There is ample fat for good health in vegetables, grains, legumes, pulses and fruits. Dietary cholesterol may also promote cancer. Fiber. In observational studies, dietary fiber is associated with a reduced risk of colonic polyps and invasive cancer of the colon. Fiber binds oxidized bile acids and generates soluble fiber products such as butyrate that may have differentiating properties. Underfined grains, vegetables and fruits supply enough fiber in diet.
dietary fiber. A high fiber diet may help reduce your overall calorie intake and help you maintain a healthy weight which is vital to reducing cancer risk. Recommended daily allowance 30 gram per day. Fiber content of common foods. White bread slice 40 gram 80 calories 0.6 gram. Whole wheat bread 1.9 gram. Brown rice 1.7 gram. White rice 1.3 gram. Apple with skin 1 medium 3.3 gram. Orange 3.1 gram. Sweet corn 2.1 gram. Whole pulses 2 to 4 gram per 100 gram. Green peas 4.4 gram. Cluster beans 3.7 gram. Plant and stem, especially the bottom 2 feet portion, 20 gram per 100 gram. Note, a portion is the amount of food that you choose to eat for a meal or snack. It can be big or small, you decide. A serving is a measured amount of food or drink, such as one slice of bread or one cup that is 8 ounces of milk. Energy balance. Risk of certain cancers appear to increase modestly as body mass index BMI increases beyond 25 kg per meter square. Each 5 kg per meter square increase in BMI was linearly associated with cancers of the uterus, gallbladder, kidney, cervix, thyroid and leukemia. Anti-inflammation, antioxidant mechanisms. It has been estimated that approximately 20% of all human cancers are due to chronic inflammation. Persistent inflammation in the tumor microenvironment promotes proliferation and survival of malignant cells, angiogenesis and metastasis. NF kappa beta is a key orchestrator of innate immunity bar inflammation responses and it may be involved in tumor initiation and progression. The NFKB pathway is important in driving cancer related inflammation which has been reported in gastrointestinal and liver cancer. Numerous natural compounds isolated from food and edible plants exert anti-cancer effects by modifying cancer related cellular signaling pathways. This picture shows activators and inhibitors of reactive oxygen species. Activators are chemotherapy, radiation, growth factors, UV rays, cytokines and hypoxia. Inhibitors are superoxide dismutase, catalase, peroxyredoxin, glutathione, thioredoxin reductase and peroxidase. This picture shows dietary agents involved in multi-stage carcinogenesis. Blocking agents are curcumin, indole-3-carbinol, sulforaphane, flavonoids. Suppressing agents are curcumin, EGCG, genistein, resveratrol and 6 generol Chemo prevention. Effective cancer preventive approach used to inhibit, retard or reverse human carcinogenesis at early stages using non-toxic nutrients, phytochemicals and synthetic pharmacological agents. Dietary phytochemicals obtained from daily foods and edible plants have received significant attention as emerging compounds for cancer prevention due to their relatively low toxicity, low cost and ease of administration. See the earlier figures shown. Both reactive oxygen species and dietary agents relevant for multi-stage carcinogenesis. Interaction of exogenous and endogenous carcinogenic compounds with intracellular macromolecules in normal cells either directly or after metabolic activation. This can cause DNA damage or methylation which if not repaired can result in genetic and other cellular damage. These damaged cells develop into pre-neoplastic cells upon altered expression of oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes 
during the promotion stage resulting in modified cell structure and proliferation finally pre neoplastic cells progress to neoplastic cells this cascade of events offers various chemo preventive targets at every stage some chemo preventive phytochemicals block the initiation of carcinogenesis through inhibition of pro carcinogen metabolic activation or of interaction of the carcinogen with cellular macromolecules on the other hand some agents suppress the malignant transformation of initiated cells during either the promotion or the progression stage some chemo preventive agents have both types of activity food substances that prevents cancer and the helpful chemicals they contain against cancer apples ursolic acid asparagus sulforaphane berries resveratrol carrots beta carotene chilies red capsaicin citrus fruits limonene cloves eugenol coffee coffee acts via antioxidant and non antioxidant mechanisms cruciferous vegetables brassinin dietary phytochemicals targeting nrf2 bar keap1 are present in cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli which contains indole 3 carbinol watercress and cabbage these sulfur containing compounds play a critical role in nrf2 bar keap1 signaling decreased the expression of inflammatory markers curcumin curcumin longa inhibition of the expression of cox2 and inos that is inducible nitric oxide synthesis fenugreek diastenin garlic allicin reduced proliferation of the cancer cells treated by garlic is at least partly mediated by increased endoplasmic reticulum stress ginger six ginger oil green tea catechins inhibited cell growth and induced apoptosis grapes resveratrol a phytoalexin found in the skin and seeds of grapes has been reported to possess anti inflammatory anti carcinogenic and anti oxidant activities attenuates hydrogen peroxide induced cytotoxicity dna fragmentation and intracellular accumulation of reactive oxygen species via inhibition of the nfkb pathway onion dialyl sulfide peanuts resveratrol pears ursolic acid pomegranate ellagic acid prunes ursolic acid soy genestein reactivated by demethylation and active histone modification phytochemicals in soy may function as inhibitors of signal transduction pathways essential for cancer cell proliferation tumor growth invasion and metastasis demonstrating synergistic anti cancer effects tomato lycopene inhibited the inflammatory response antioxidant regulation in the health system antioxidants are enzymes or some organic substances that are capable of counteracting the damaging effects of oxidation and they may be characterized as inhibiting the generation of reactive oxygen species ros or directly scavenging free radicals in living organisms the effects of ros reactive nitrogen species reactive nitrogen species that means rns are balanced by these enzymatic and non enzymatic antioxidants examples vitamin c l ascorbate vitamin e carotenoids in avocado corn egg yolks kale spinach summer squash pumpkin and yellow fleshed fruits selenium in broccoli spinach green peas beans and potatoes flavonoids in tea leafy vegetables onions apples berries cherries soybeans and citrus fruits and thiol antioxidants such as glutathione that is gsh the human body produces glutathione dietary sources are spinach avocados asparagus lipoic acid found in carrots beets spinach broccoli and potatoes so dear viewers this video is the end of part 3 in the three part series on 
cancer prevention in the medicine for anyone youtube channel thank you for watching the video